Good morning and welcome back to my channel. I thought I would start a weekly vlog this week and I'm going to show you a little bit of everything, a bit of what I do in my life as a business owner. I probably won't be able to show you too, too much because I won't be able to take you into clients' homes, but I will still kind of explain and go through what my life kind of looks like. And then I'm also going to be showing you the books that I read this week because this week, door wasn't closed because this week is a very exciting week for people that love books because there is a lot of books coming out this week I'm probably only going to get one this week because I am very lucky enough that my sister works in a bookstore and we're going to be getting a, a couple of books at the end of November so there will be a huge book haul coming at the end of November um, I think I've currently got I think seven or eight waiting and ready but I will buy a few before then so yeah it's going to be a very exciting week Charlie is in the back at the moment because we're going to pick up my dad because he has to go to the airport because his work is flying him out to um, Melbourne to go and see the Melbourne Cup which is pretty cool um, so I'm going to pick him up and take him to the airport before I start work for the day so let's get started i also bought my kindle just in case i have to sit around because it's easy to just carry i really need to get a case though so if anyone can recommend a really good case for kindles let me know otherwise i'll probably just find one on amazon why do we think I just like curled my hair. I curled all of it, but I left these two strands out. They're not matching though, I don't think. What do we think? Like it almost needs to be like there. I don't know, I don't know. Now Tuesday, I had a really big day at work. I ended up working 7.5 hours and I have now decided that I'm going to start my reread of Fourth Wing because Iron Flame comes out tomorrow. <laughs> so I am hoping that I can read quite a big chunk of this tonight. I just started and we are on page eight. Um, so we're gonna see how far I can get through this tonight and then go and pick up Iron Flame in the morning. I am very excited. I wasn't going to start a reread, but there's small parts that I can't remember from the book. That kind of happens when I read books sometimes, even if they are my favorites. I remember like the main details, but I don't remember every single thing, which is kind of really cool because it means I can reread books and fall in love with them again. So we are starting the reread of Fourth Wing and I am loving it again already. We are having a little bit of an off day today. I got my period this morning. It is due Wednesday. It's Wednesday. I got my period this morning and I've just been in a low mood mentally, physically. But that's okay. We're gonna allow ourselves to have an off day. But I did want to show you. I popped to the shops this morning as soon as Big W opened and there was like 20 people like young girls my age and I was like I know that they're all here to buy the same book that I'm here for so we all well they ran I fast paced walked to the book section and picked up Iron Flame it is huge I don't want to spoil anything but I really want to see how many pages it is 623 pages that is probably one of the biggest books I own Sarah J Maas may have topped that, but that is a huge, huge book. And we're still currently reading this one, so I don't want to start that one just yet. We are at 115, page 115. I read 44 pages yesterday. 40, yeah, 44 pages yesterday. And then got to 
115 today so that's how much I've read today not too much but I definitely want to get a bigger chunk done tonight so that is my plan I'm going to cook us some dinner first Shane's just gone out to get some chicken for dinner because I want to do teriyaki chicken and then he's also getting some ice cream so we can make brownies because that's just what you need when you get your period also I'm wearing my red pajamas from Peter Alexander I bought these probably like two or three years ago but they are so comfy I definitely want to get more Peter Alexander pajamas but not yet not yet but I'm so excited to read this it's so big this book so much it's such a good like world building and you can really just like imagine all of these different trials and all these different places it's one of the best like world buildings that I've read and I've read quite a few she's comparing them I know what's gonna happen I don't know why but this is somehow more exciting than reading it the first time because I know like little bits of what's going to happen, but I can't like fully remember everything. So I'm like, oh my God, yes, that happened. Just makes me like more and more excited every time. I get so sad when her, when the people die. They all die so easily. They just fall off cliffs. We'll get their next snap, you know. These are all. So it is now Friday, but I thought I would show you what I picked up last night. I went late night shopping with my partner um, and we went to Big W and Charlie. He just drank and then booped the bottom of my book. Um, we went to Big W and Priceline, so I thought I'd show you what I got. You can't go to Big W and not pick up some books, so... I got a couple. I wanted to get so much more, but my sister is actually getting a couple for me um, with her discount because she works at QBD, which is an absolute pleasure. Um, but I picked up three books that I knew weren't on the list that she's getting me. So the first one we have Hooked by Emily McIntyre. Um, this is the first book in the, it's like Never Never or Never, a Never After. Um, and I've heard really amazing things about this book, so I really wanted to get my hands on it, and I saw the Big W had it, so had to. Um, and then I really want to get quite a few different, like, holiday-themed books for Christmas this year. So I saw this one at Big W and thought it was so cute. So it's called The Book Club Hotel by Sarah Morgan. Um... And it doesn't like fully look Christmassy, but it is set in the winter. Um, and she's also got another one called The Christmas Escape. Um, but it just looks like really cute. I'm not actually sure if it is a Christmas book. Oh, she has a lot of Christmas books. So it could be, it looks like it anyway. Super cute. So I picked that one up. Um, and then I also picked up Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher. I actually really loved her Billionaires series. Um, I'm still yet to read the third one, which is the final offer. But I thought I'd pick this one up just because I really enjoy her writing. And this is a new release as well. So got my hands on that. And those are the books that I got. And then I also got this Winnie the Pooh shirt because Winnie the Pooh was my favorite thing growing up. I had a Winnie the Pooh bedroom. Um, I don't know if I will be able to find a picture, but if I can, I will put a picture on the screen of my bedroom, but I had a quilt cover Winnie the Pooh, my curtains were Winnie the Pooh, everything was Winnie the Pooh. So I got this little shirt and it says grow positive thoughts, which is so cute because my little saying is positive thoughts only. And I just thought this would be so cute because it's a little poo shirt. How adorable. Um, and then I went to Priceline because I was out of cleanser and stuff. And normally I use 
the Esme cleanser, but it is on the little bit more pricey side. So I wanted to get a different brand and I've been hearing amazing things about TBH skincare, um, especially for those with acne prone skin, which I very much have acne prone skin. So I picked up this, I picked up the antibacterial cleanser and the acne hack spot treatment and then i also got the thirst trap face moisturizer and there was a few other things in their range i also wanted to get their serum but um it was a bit pricey so we'll have to do that another time but i will tell you how this goes using this because it is a bit more pricey in terms of different skincares it was on sale for 20 dollars, which isn't too bad it is a bit more pricey than a lot of skincare but my other one from esme skin is like 50 dollars, so i'm definitely interested to see i felt like when i woke up this morning my acne was not as red as it was last night um since wearing makeup today has kind of got a bit more inflamed um and i also already had their spot treatments um and i loved their little spot treatments like um the patches sorry so i really wanted to pick this up because i do like the patches and that's what i bought charlie enjoyed the haul didn't you charlie and i'm still reading fourth wing i really wanted to read it in like 24 hours so that i could get onto iron flame but it's just just didn't happen with my work schedule and everything else going on in my life at the moment so we're just over halfway so hopefully I should get this done today and tomorrow and then I can start Iron Flame because my sister has just finished it. She finished it today and she's like, I really want to talk to you about it, but you haven't read it yet. So yeah, I'll definitely hopefully get onto that very soon and I will let you know my thoughts, but we are on page 271. So we're getting through, we're getting there. Happy Saturday. I'm feeling much better this morning. I think it was because I went over to my parents' house last night, had some dinner with them, had some chats about how I was feeling. So I feel much better today and I'm going back over there now. I should have just stayed the night, honestly, because mum and I are going to go to shopping. I really want to go to Pillow Talk and TK Maxx, just have a look at their like Christmas stuff. Cause I've seen lots of videos of their amazing Christmas stuff this year so we're gonna do that and obviously we are going to listen to some Christmas music on the drive first song we're listening to the state of my kitchen at the minute I got a HelloFresh order so I'm just unpacking all of it now we have five meals pretty excited I've had HelloFresh in the past um, but not since moving in here so Very did a little bit of damage at TK Maxx and I thought I'd show you what I got because their Christmas stuff this year is just top tier honestly um, first we went into Pillow Talk. Charlie's trying to get underneath me. First we went into Pillow Talk. Um, and we had lots of cute stuff. But I just ended up picking up a table runner. Just a red one to go on our table. Just to make it a bit more festive. Um, but I have a white tablecloth on there at the moment. And I just thought white tablecloth with this on the top would be cute. Um, and then I also bought some tea towels I just thought these ones were so cute um excuse me just to hang over the thing and there's three so there's two of these ones and just a red one in the middle which I thought would be really cute and then I got this candle um but it has this little dog on the top that kind of looks like Charlie so that's why I got it it doesn't smell like terrible but it's also like not the best smelling thing I've ever smelled doesn't really smell Christmassy, but that was only $13. So I was like, why not? You know? Um, and then I got this cute little tree. 
It's like a ceramic tree that I'm going to put either on this table with the table runner and stuff or on my coffee table or even my, yeah, it could really go anywhere really. Um, I just thought it really was really cute. I was going for a red and white theme, but I just couldn't pass that up. Then I got some socks. Um, there is one, two, three, seven eight nine ten pairs of socks um and they're all different christmas so this one has trees um and they have just lots of different like sayings and stuff on them as well um and then i also got this cute little set of baking um like cupcakes and then in the top they have these little like toothpicks with little christmas gingerbread houses on it and i thought that would be really cute just to bake some like christmas cupcakes and decorate them and put little thingies on the top. I just thought that'd be so cute. Um, and then I found this sheet set that says Merry Christmas. I already have a quilt cover that I bought years ago from like Next, I think online um, before Australia even started bringing out Christmas stuff. I might also get the Pillow Talk Christmas bedding later in November, maybe. Um, but at the moment I thought this was just really cute to put as a sheet. Then to go along with my kind of ceramics decor, because I don't have a lot of like nice decor this Christmas, um, I got this little white tree. It was only $13, which I thought was really good, really good. It's just another ceramic, but it's in white. Um, and then... I think this was the last thing I got. Oh, they left the hanger on it. All right, we have a blanket hanger now. Um, was this blanket that's just red and white. I was going to get, there was a red one that had Christmas trees on it, but I just thought this one was just a bit nicer um, just to like hang over the the lounge and then I'm gonna get some like actual festive red cushions so yeah I just thought it was super cute and it still goes with like my theme which is mainly white in my house and I think that's all I got I still want to do a bit of a Kmart and a Target trip just to get a couple more Christmas bits but for now that is my little haul I think my favorite thing is probably these the sheet I'll need to give them a wash and then put them on the bed. Probably won't be in this vlog though, so we'll probably do it next week. Because it's raining at the moment and these will not dry. I'm changed into some comfies from White Fox and we're gonna do a speed clean of the house. finished fourth wing and it is even better than I remember and that ending I did not remember that happened um, but I'm going to end off this vlog here so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video very soon where I will be reading Iron Flame <laughs>